please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Konnichiwa, my Japanese schoolgirls. Looking for all your soul shard fragments. This is Lathan. This is Ricardo Milos. We out here. We're gonna send it over to Izzy with weather, because you know, it's kinda cold outside. Welcome back, big dogs. Good start to a Monday with a two hour delay. Let's get right on with the news. Your today's high will be 29 degrees and a low of 17. And as of now, it feels like 19. And snow falling till later on tonight. That's all for weather. Now back to the studio for lunch and birthdays. Thanks, Izzy. In lines one and two, you'll have a chicken snack, snack wrap. In line three, you'll have a soup and salad bar featuring potato soup. Line four is baked mozzarella cheese sticks and wild mice pizza. And line five is open. Just kidding, it's still closed. A happy birthday goes out to our very own resident truant, Cindy Valdez. Now let's send it over to Mo to hear some sports news. Thanks, LaFan. On Friday night, the boys' basketball team fell to conference opponent Southmont 47-38. The dogs played well enough to lead by two at the half, but the offense slowed in the second half, only scoring 11 points, only three of those coming in the fourth quarter. The team defended well overall, holding Southmont to 42 points before having to foul late to extend the game. The team returned to action Saturday at Tipton and were defeated 69-50. The team played played one of their better games of the season against a very good opposing team. They competed and hung with Tipton all night long, with the exception of an 18 and 9 third quarter difference. The Hot Dogs moved the ball well, was effective shooting from the floor, and rebounded well. There was a great balance in the scoring column with eight Hot Dogs scoring and seven having five or more points. The team enters the final week of the regular season with two remaining games against Clinton Central on Wednesday and Senior Night against Logan Sport on Friday. Congrats to all of the male swimmers on a great season, particularly Evan Jordan, who is advancing to state after winning the sectional competition for the 50-meter freestyle. In honor of this accomplishment, there will be shirts sold during the day today. Orders must be emailed to Mr. Robbins by 3 p.m., and shirts are $12 for short-sleeved and $16 for long. For wrestling, congratulations to Elijah Anthony on an outstanding freshman season. He was eliminated from state competition on Friday night by the eventual third-place finisher, Alec Freeman. That's all for sports. Now back to Host Man. Congratulations to FHS choir students for representing Frankfurt at State ISMA Solo and Ensemble Contest this weekend. The gold recipients were Sophie Moore, Mo Perry, Bailey Wessel, Kyra Eldridge, Morgan Adamson, Logan Tillman, and Kayla Tillman. Your books are on sale in the bookstore, so be sure to stop in and purchase one for your kids to find in a box in your attic in 20 years and ask about all the kids you used to know and are no longer in touch with, and it makes you think about your childhood. Seniors, if you still have over your caps and gowns, get on it. The total is $52.43 and Miss Rennick will need a $10 deposit. I still haven't even ordered mine, so join me in barely missing deadlines. PSS College Prep Week is for Indiana, Hispanic, and Latino high school sophomores and juniors who desire to attend college. Each year, approximately 100 students are selected to tour several university campuses over the course of one week. They learn critical information that allows them to realize their personal strengths, academic paths, and even choice of university. During this week, our students get a glimpse of campus life while touring these academic campuses. They also make new friends who are also motivated to attend college. If you are interested, there are flyers outside of room 201. The deadline to submit an application is March 15th. A big thank you to everyone who attended Big Broadcast last week. The recipients or the participants had tons of fun and are gracious for your attendance. That's all for the announcements. Be sure that you find those fragments so you can get back to your old lifestyle of being a Japanese schoolgirl. How'd you make Onichiwa? And don't forget, Evan Jordan t-shirts, Mr. Robbins' email, 3 o'clock today. Get on it.